Yo, what's up? So Boba Fett episode one was amazing. Now I know that there's a lot of people who didn't like the episode because of how Boba Fett was portrayed as a kind and caring guy, going as far as calling him Beta Fett. I disagree. Since the first time we met Boba, all we knew about him was that he was a mysterious badass that looks cool and takes jobs from the most powerful beings in the galaxy. Boba was introduced, we saw him stand and walk around sometimes, and then Han accidentally sent his useless ass to the Shadow Realm. And that's the last time we see of him, until Disney realised he's no good to me dead and brought him back for Mando season 2, where he has a great action scene in his first return that shows us how badass he actually is for the first time. And now we have the book of Boba Fett. So as I was saying before, we didn't know much about Boba Fett. We loved the character for how he looked and what we had heard about him. We heard the stories, but never saw them in action. We never really knew who he was as a character. He never had a personality until now. After viewing the first couple of episodes, we have learned that deep down, Boba is a kind and caring person at heart, but will be the most ruthless person if disrespected or for a large sum of credits. For Boba, it's respect first, wealth second, and kindness third. We got to see how Boba survived the Sarlacc pit. In canon, well now legends. Dengar saved him, but in the show he saved himself, which makes him look cooler in my opinion. And in my eyes, they couldn't have come up with a better concept for where Boba has been. It makes complete sense for the character. We're going to see Boba work his way up the ranks, from a Tuscan slave in the desert to the biggest crime lord in the galaxy. A rough and gritty story about a rough and gritty character. He's worked his way up to be the best bounty hunter in the galaxy, and now we'll see resurrected Boba Fett build himself up with a new goal to strive for. Episode 2 this episode was pure Star Wars, with world building and character progression at the forefront. This episode had the unique Star Wars feeling that is hard to explain. The story pulls you in and releases you when the credits roll. We saw Hutz for the first time since forever. We saw Black Chrysanthemum make his first appearance. We saw Boba Fett get high on lizard shit and hallucinate about the time Django left him on Kamino to find milk without an expiry date whilst having a one night stand with a tree. I literally don't need to say anything else. It's a 10 out of 10 episode. Anyways, thanks for watching and may the sequels not be with you.